Digging out of debt can be tough enough, but when you have debt collectors hounding you at home and at work, difficult becomes unbearable. And they had actually called me and said, um, well, we have your bank account number, so we'll just go and garnish your bank account. We'll just take all the money out your bank account. That's what Sherry Fultz of Waldorf, Maryland faced after she learned she inherited her husband's debt. I was shocked. It was a significant number to where I felt like, you know, it wasn't something that I could handle trying to negotiate on my own. That's when Fultz turned to Sonia Smith-Valentine, a consumer attorney, for help. And sometimes when the bills come in afterwards, they don't want to face them. So they really should make sure to pay attention to the bills that are coming in, open them up, see when they're due, make sure they're making at least the minimum payments on time. What's the worst thing someone can do? Stick their head in the sand. Um, you really got to pay attention to what's going on. You've got to know what the picture is. When you don't pay, the company's creditors come calling, and if they don't get a response, collection agencies come after you, and they can be relentless. The law says you have the right to be treated fairly and reasonably in any debt collection efforts. And if somebody is not being reasonable, you have the right to tell them, stop contacting me. When can these debt collectors call you? Can they call you in the middle of the night? Can they call you at work? What are the rules? Well, they can't threaten you with arrest. They can't say if you don't pay your bills, you know, the police are coming to, to take your kids or something of that nature. They also can't use foul language or racial slurs. And federal law allows bill collectors to only call between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. So if you're being harassed, what can you do? You can contact your state attorney general's office. You can also go back to the original company and asked to work out a deal. And if that doesn't work, Sonia Smith-Valentine suggests going to the top of the chain. Send a letter to the office of the president. Say, I've been trying to work with your customer service. I'm not getting the help I need. Believe it or not, I think these days, given unfortunately the recession and, and the financial crisis that most people are in, I think you can probably work out some deals that you might not have been able to several years ago. What? One thing to note, if you sue a debt collector over harassment and use an attorney and win, mm. the debt collector actually pays your legal fees. So think about oh, that. Yeah. Using an attorney job. can be really, really helpful if you feel like you're just up against it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Liz.